What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of No Limit 2.0. In today's video, we're actually going to be showing you the drift tune for this Supra. So let's go ahead and get this started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the upgrades. We're going to go to the engine. Now it is on the first big block. So do not upgrade the $6,000 upgrade. See below that is a small block. You're going to be on the first stage of big block. You're going to have second stage heads, second stage pistons, second stage camshaft, full valve train, full spark plugs, and full distributor. And as you see in the intake, we have intake maxed out. We have exhaust manifold maxed out, basically the headers. We have stage one turbo and nothing else. And then we're gonna go straight to transmission and we have stage one transmission, stage one clutch, and stage one flywheel. And then we go straight to suspension here. We have stage one brakes, Stage one brakes in the rear. We have stage four front suspension and rear suspension. Then we have stage two axle configuration. Then we go straight to computer. We have stage three launch and then everything else on here is not maxed out it is all stock. And then guys, we go straight to the tires and we do have the tires kept on street tires. And then you want a 26 height. You want a 13.5 width and then you want a 19 inch diameter rim. All right guys, and then we're gonna go straight to the tuning section of this. We're gonna go straight to the transmission and this is mainly what you need right here is this transmission setup. So go ahead and take a look at this as we have first gear at 3.50, second gear at 2.40, third gear at 1.97, fourth 1.86, fifth 1.64 and sixth gear right at 1.48 now guys the only gears that you can drift in on here will be one through fourth fifth and sixth are a little hard to drift with because you don't have the torque or the power for that but that is okay because you don't necessarily need fifth and sixth gear when you're drifting you mainly need one two three we're gonna go straight to suspension guys and then as you see here in the suspension the front is at point 24 and the rear is at point 20 they're going to go straight to stiffness the front is at 25,000 with the rear being at 41,000 bump 4,000 for the front and then rebound 2,000 for the front then we're gonna go straight to extension so the rear we have point 56 and the front we have point 44 which gives it that nice fitment with the rims and then guys, we're gonna go straight to launch. We have launch RPM, limiter and shift light fully maxed out all the way up. We have launch control on. And then everything else in here is stock. Now that y'all saw the tuning for this, we're gonna go ahead and take this car out and show you what it does. All right guys, so we got the car out. Now let's go ahead and sort of show you exactly what this is. Now, if you look at the top right of your screen, you see A slash T. We're going to switch from automatic transmission to manual and then now we're in manual so at the top it shows like a little shift knob so we're going to go ahead and go in first second and we're going to be in third now guys this drift tune is like very smooth you can be in any gear from first to fourth and it'll drift just amazing i mean look at this this thing just it just goes watch i'm not even holding the steering and it'll still drift and turn for you now obviously it'll correct itself sometimes but that's because you're not turning. So the car is really good for doing like manging and stuff. And I really like the, you know, just how smooth the car is overall. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and do like a little drift edit right here. So please enjoy.
Alright guys, well I hope you all enjoyed the little drift edit and I hope you all enjoyed the drift tune for this. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this drift tune. Let me know if you have a vehicle that actually you think drifts way better than this. And then also let me know how this drift tune did for you when you did use it. Besides that guys, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications.